Lesson 16.3a, Using a Box Plot. A box plot is a display that shows how the data values in a data set are distributed or spread out. We have a least value and a greatest value and a median value. And because our values go from 2 to 8, the spread of the data is 2 to 8. To make a box plot, we put the data in order from least to greatest, then find five values. We find the least value and the lower quartile, that's the median of the lower half of the data. We find a median, that's the middle number or mean of two middle numbers. We find the upper quartile, that's the median of the upper half of the data, and the greatest value. Box plots are also called box and whisker plots. The line segment that connects the lowest value to the lower quartile, that's right here, and the greatest value to the upper quartile, they look like whiskers. Nine students were asked how many pets they have. Make a box plot for the data. We see the number of pets that they gave as answers, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine data values. We put them in order from least to greatest, and then we can identify the least is zero, and the greatest is eight, and we can identify the median. The median has four values to the left, and it has four values to the right. We know that's the middle number, it's the median. Now we find the lower quartile. It's the median of the lower half of the data. So since we know that's the median, we know this is the lower half, and we need to find the median. So we have two digits here, a 1 and a 1. And to find the median, we need to find the mean of these two digits. We do 1 plus 1, which is 2. And because we used two digits, we divide it by 2. We know the median for the this lower half is a 1. That's the lower quartile. It's a 1. We find the upper quartile as the median of the upper half of the data. We have a 4 and a 6 in the middle. We add them. We get a 10. Because we added two numbers together, we're going to divide it by 2 to find the mean of these two numbers. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So the upper quartile is a 5. That's the median of the upper half of the data. So now we know the five important values. We have our lowest value, we have our greatest value, we have our median, and we know the lower quartile is a 1 and the upper quartile is a 5. We can draw our box plot and number line. And the number line is going to show at least from 0 to 8, mine goes to 9. It starts at the lower quartile, the box does, and it ends at the upper quartile. So since the lower quartile is a 1, that's where the box starts. And since the upper quartile is a 5, that's where the box ends. The left whisker is a line segment connecting the lowest value to the lower quartile. And the right whisker is a line segment connecting the upper quartile to the greatest value, 8. And the median of the entire set of data values is a vertical line segment inside the box. This box plot displays how the data values in the data set are distributed or spread out. So remember the median is the middle value with an equal number of data values to its left and to its right. And if there's two middle values, we find the mean, the average of those two values, as the median of the entire set of data values. If there's an odd number of values, like here there's five, it's easy to find the median, it's the middle number. But when there's an even number of values, here we have six values, we have to take the two center ones, the two middle ones, and find the mean, the average of those, to find the median. This data set goes in order from two to seven, so the median would be found using the two middle numbers, 4 and 5. We add 4 plus 5, we get a 9. Because we used these two, we're going to divide it by 2, we get a 4.5 for the median. We do the same thing for the lower quartile. If there's two middle numbers, we find the average, the mean, of these two numbers as the median of the lower half, the lower quartile. 
And with the upper quartile, same thing. We find the mean, the average of the two middle numbers for the upper half of the data to find the upper quartile. So, for your notes, a box plot is a graph that shows how data values are distributed by using the median, lower quartile, upper quartile, least value, and greatest value, and a box plot is also known as a box and whisker plot. So now we're finished with the first part of this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, finding the interquartile range. Keep trying your best and join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.